Good evening, well, teacher. Good evening, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate good evening. Thank you so much for being super punctual. Appreciate, appreciate. Good evening, good evening. Just Fernando, come with your camera on. Carlos Alberto, camera on. Carla Vigayu, camera on, please. Remember that this is an online class, so I need your camera on, please, please. please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for connecting. Fernando Linares, camera on. Carlos Alberto, camera on, please, please, please. So let's just start with this, guys. Thank you so much for making the effort. Thank you so much for being here. And thank you so much for connecting to the class. We are going to start with a short presentation over here. So let me go with the presentation here. In general words, guys, we are going to start with English Intermedio Modulo 3. So my name will be Christian Bernardo Mueller Palucha. I am going to be your teacher and I am going to help you to learn English during this course. Now, during this course, guys, we are going to use uh, different platforms or different tools so we can put into practice our English. For example, first, we are going to work on pl uh, Plataforma de Inglés Corporativo. Also, we are going to use the Zoom tool. And also, we are going to check WhatsApp. If you have any question or if you need help on WhatsApp, you can text in the group and we are going to help you over there. So you can use WhatsApp. Also, you need to remember that we are going to have the class. The class is it's only last one hour and it will be from Monday to Friday. Here is a mistake. From Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So this is a mistake over here. There is a mistake, but remember from Monday to Friday from 9 to 10 p.m. One hour only. So you have only one hour to put into practice what you have learned from your platform. Now, remember that you need to do your homework 100% during the whole level so you can have a good score and you can get a good score over there. Now, according to homework and evaluation, guys, it is necessary to get the 80% of the homework and 80% in the evaluations so you can complete the platform or complete the section in that case without any problem. And also you need to do your homework daily. You need to do your homework because that's super important. And remember that if you don't do the homework, you are not going to pass to the next level. If you don't do the homework, you are not going to practice your English. And if you don't practice your English, you will not speak perfectly. So you need to do your homework every single day without an excuse. Now remember that you have a lot of uh, material over there to practice. And if you have any question, you can ask, or if you need, more practices or do you need more exercises, I can send you the information. I can send you more info, uh, more things so you can practice over there. In week number one, guys, you are going to work in section number one and section number two. In week number two, you are going to work in section number three and midterm test. In week number three, you are going to work in section four. And week number four, you are going to complete section five and final exam. So you can finish the process this week remember for friday you need to complete section one and two so you can pass in this case the activities without any problem remember if you are not speaking if you are not participating in the class you need to be on mute you need to be in silence so we can avoid the background noise and we can avoid any problem or any interruption in the class and we can have the class clearly over there also guys remember that we start the course today July 24th, and we are going to finish on August 18th, so you can have that in mind. Always remember, you need to have your cameras on because it's an online class, and if you don't have your camera on, I cannot see if you are practicing or if you are playing video games or if you are watching a soap opera or if you are watching Netflix or I don't know, but you need to have your camera on because this is an online class. So that will be the short presentation about me, and let me introduce myself. Jos Fernando, I repeat, camera on. Hey, Raúl, camera on. Carlos Alberto, camera on. And Jennifer Raquel, camera on. Bless is blessed. Now, nice to meet you guys. My name is Christian Mueller. I am going to be your teacher. I am 28 years old. I am an English teacher, as I mentioned. I work here at INSA for programs, but I also work for e 4 cc And I also work for Ministerio de Educación in El Salvador because I live here in, in Santa Ana. So that will be about my three different jobs. Yes, I have three different jobs, so I have a lot of things to do during the day, but I really like to teach English and I really like to speak English, so that's why I, I prefer to work in three different places. 
Now, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure for me here, I mean, being here with you here uh, to help you to learn the, the language. And also, if you have any question or if you don't understand something or if you want to know something, you can ask me and I will be there to help you. But the most important part over here, guys, it will be the communication. If you don't tell me that you don't understand something, if you don't tell me that you have a doubt, how will I know if you have a question? How will I know if you don't understand something? So you need to tell me because believe me, if you don't tell me, I will not know. It's important that you tell me the information. Okay, teacher, I don't understand that. Teacher, I have a question. Teacher, can you tell me this? Because if you don't ask, you will never know. And if you don't ask, I will never tell you. Why? Because in my personal case, I will suppose that you understood something. I mean, you're, that you understand everything. So in that case, it will depend on you to ask every single class or every single activity that you understand the things. And if you don't understand the things, you can ask me and I will help you over there. But you need to ask. That will be the key. Camera zone and communication because that's important. So that's about myself. In short, I like to play video games. I like to speak in English, as I mentioned. I like to read books a lot, especially if they are, I mean, either they are in Spanish or in English. I really like to read books. I think that if you read a book, you can, I mean, help yourself to imagine a lot of things. So that would be, I mean, super helpful if you read a book. And also I really like to go out and drink coffee and eat, um, the things that we can eat, like sweet, sweet things, because they are delicious for me. That's about myself. Now you tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself, introduce yourself so I can know you a little bit more. Now let's start with Ruth Marielos. Tell me about yourself, please. Good evening, teacher. Um, my name is Marielos. Bueno, um, Ruth Marielos. Um, I am 40 years old. Um, um, what are your I hobbies? Want... What do you like? What oh, do you... Okay. My hobby is... Um, drive. Mm -hmm. Drive at the beach. Uh, stay at the beach. Nice. Yes. Um only i'm sorry thank you so much nice to meet you what about you marco antonio tell me about yourself well hi everyone my name is marco i'm 23 years old well i think that nowadays my favorite uh, hobby is learn about uh, audio things like use a soundboard and try that the band uh, so the audio of a band is very good. Mm -hmm. Everything everything can listen very good. And I think reading, reading about audio or science fiction or whatever thing. Cool. Now tell me how old are you? 23. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Carla Abigail? Tell me about yourself. I'm gonna be, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm 22 years old. Cool. Uh, I'm a university and student, and I like to listen to music, and I enjoy dancing and singing. That's and cool. I like to read some books. That's perfect. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Elizabeth Torres? Tell me about yourself. Good evening. My name is Isabel. Um, I am 17 years old. Um, I study in the university. Nice. Uh, my favorite place is basketball. And I listen to music, dance, uh, painting. And I hate uh, onion. And that's it. Thank you so much. What about you, Juan Carlos? Tell me about yourself. Juan Carlos Maravilla. Yes. Yo yes, I only have one. Uh, teacher. Uh, good evening. Uh, I am uh, 37 years old. Uh, 
My favorite hobby is playing soccer. Uh, nice. I am working in preventive industrial. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Claudia Maria? Tell me about yourself. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening. everyone. Uh, my name is Claudia Garcia. Uh, uh, I have 53 old. I am. I am 53 old. Um, my work is uh, real estate. Cool. Um, it's Spanish. Thank you so much. What about you, Jennifer Raquel? Tell me about yourself. Hello, good night. Uh, my name is Jennifer. That people call me Jen. Uh, okay. My favorite color is yellow. I am 28 years old. My favorite uh, my favorite hobby is listen to music. I love listen to music. Um, um, my favorite uh, music is pop rock and rock. Uh, oh. uh, I love in uh, English and, nice. and I had three children well, that's all thank you so much nice to meet you what about you Raul Perez tell me about yourself you are on mute Raul microphone microphone yes good evening teacher good evening I am Raul Perez I am 49 years old well, my favorite hobby is play basketball. I like watch movies. With... That's cool. Thank you so much, Raúl. Nice to meet you. What about you, Carlos Alberto? Tell me about yourself. Carlos Alberto Martinez, five four three two. Yes. No, Carlos Alberto. Okay, no, Carlos Alberto. Saul Alexander, tell me about yourself. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, mm -hmm. Good evening everyone. My name is Saul Alexander Lozano Calderon. I am 42 years old. I am in a light. Um, go to the beach. Okay. That, yeah, I like go... And I'm with my friends. I like to go eat something uh one of my favorite restaurants. Cool. Um or just get a coffee time. Yeah. That's cool. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. What about you, Jacqueline? Tell me about yourself. Jacqueline Manzano. Good evening. Good evening. You can listen? Yes, I can listen to you. Okay, okay. My name is Irma Jacqueline Manzano. I have four years old. I am um, I I work as technical designer oh, and have two children. Nice. My favorite hobby is uh, listen music and watch TV. Super cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Fernando? Tell me about yourself. Hi, everyone. Good evening. My name is Fernando Carras. Um, well, I am 24 years old. Um, and my favorite hobby is um, watch uh, soccer games. I find to Real Madrid and, and I like to, to watch uh, the movie of Super viewers. So That's my cool. favorite food is uh, wasagna. Super cool. That's Thank up. you so much. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Just give me one second, please. Okay, let's go with this. Carlos Alberto, you can leave the meeting and you can connect it again. Maybe that works with the camera and with the microphone. Just leave the meeting and connect it again. That will help you. Now the rest, thank you so much, guys. Nice to meet you to all of you.
And it, it's a pleasure for me here. I mean, being here with, here with you so you can, I mean, start speaking and you can start practicing your English language. The first thing that we're going to work with today, guys, is about vocabulary. We are going to talk about art exhibitions or art, what kind of arts do we have in life so we can practice the pronunciation and we can practice with some words. So my first activity will be about vocabulary. The first thing that we're going to work, guys, is this one. Let me share the sound and let me share the presentation over here. So this is... Drawing. Everybody repeat, please. Drawing. 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 Drawing, drawing, drawing. drawing. That will be the drawing. first kind of art. Drawing. drawing. Let's go with drawing. the second one. The second kind of art will be... Let me hear. Jewelry. Everybody repeat this. Jewelry. 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 That will be the second one. Number three. The third kind of art will be... This is easy. Fashion. fashion. Everybody, fashion. 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 Let's fashion. go with the next one. The next kind of art that we have is this one. Sculpture. Everybody, sculpture. 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 The next one that we have over here, guys, is about this one. Pottery. Everybody repeat please, pottery. 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 That's pottery. correct, pottery. And the next pottery. one that we have is about this one. Painting. 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 And the last one, but not least, we have this one. That is? Photography. 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 That would be, you can say photography or you can say photography. It's your decision. So we got the different kind of arts. So everybody repeat after me the last time, please. Drawing. 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 That's correct. Drawing. Next one, jury. 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 Next one, fashion. 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 That's correct. Next one, sculpture. 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 Next one, pottery. Pottery. Next one, we have painting. 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 And the next one we have over here, photography. 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 Now this is about vocabulary. Do you have any question, any doubt about the vocabulary? Something that you don't understand or something that you need to clarify? Yes, teacher. Uh, I have a question. Sure, sure, sure. Um, um, the um, jewelry? Uh huh. Jewelry? Jewelry. Yes. Okay. Can you repeat, teacher? Sure. Yeah. I will put the audio so you can listen to the audio first and then you listen to my pronunciation. Jewelry. 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 Now, jewelry. jewelry. Now tell me, what is your question about jewelry? Jewelry. Uh -huh. What is the question? Ah, the, pronunci uh, the pronunciation. Pronunci ah, the pronunciation. Okay, yeah. cool. Jewelry. 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 Yes, jewelry. 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 Cool. Thank you. Any other question? <laughs> Any other question? Questions, questions, doubts, doubts? No, no questions, no doubts. Okay, let me continue over here then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let just let me close this one and let's continue with this. Let me make it a big. Now for these guys, we got the different kind of parts and we go over here with this. And this will be my question for you so we can start practicing over here. Just give me one second. Let me write the question over here. So I can ask you, what is, what is your favorite kind of art? Now about please, what is your favorite kind of art? What is your favorite 
kind of art? Everybody repeat, repeat, repeat. What is your favorite kind of art? For example, in my personal case, I will say my favorite kind of art will be, sorry, sorry. My favorite kind of art is painting. In my personal case, I really love painting. My, everybody repeat please. My favorite kind of art is painting. My, my favorite, favorite kind, kind of art, of art is painting. painting. That's correct. Now you have 30 seconds, write your sentence in your notebook and tell me what is your favorite kind of art, please, please. 30 seconds, tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite kind of art, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite kind of art, please, please. You have 20 seconds, 20, 20 seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite kind of art. 20, 20 seconds. You have five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me go with this and let me check over here. Now let's just start with Ruth Marielos. Tell me what is your favorite kind of art? Um, teacher, I don't understand the question. My God, is you need a question. What is your favorite kind of art? What is your um, clase favorita de arte? Yes, uh -huh. I so, don't have. You need to invent, you need to speak. I, what, what I need is that you speak. If you don't have, invent it. But you need to speak. Marco Antonio, tell me, what is your favorite yes. kind of art? Well, my favorite kind of art is, let me see, photography. Okay, Carla Abigail, tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is photography. Thank you. What about you, Isabel? Tell me, what is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is drawing. Thank you. What about you, Claudia Maria? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting and photography. Thank you. What about you, Jennifer? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art are uh, photography, paint, and fashion. That's cool. Thank you. What about you, Raul Perez? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Saul Alexander? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is uh, music and photography. Well, thank you so much. What about you, Jacqueline? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is drawing and painting. That's cool. What about you, Fernando? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art, I think, is uh, photography and comedy. Thank you. So, what about you, Juan Carlos? What is your favorite kind of art? My favorite kind of art is painting. Thank you. What about you, Carlos Alberto? What is your favorite kind of art? And it's a drawing. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you. What about you, Esmeralda? What is your favorite kind of art? Esmeralda Isabel. Can you repeat me, please? What is your favorite kind of art? Uh, what is kind kind of drive? Me, my favorite. No. Escritor. No, I didn't ask you about that. Pay attention to the question. We need to practice over there. No me están practicando then. So we need to practice kind, clase, tipo, kind of art. Now let's go with the next activity. And my next activity over here will be, just give me one second. I need to open the activity for you. Let me go with this. One second, one second. Just give me one moment. Okay, let me go with this one. Just let me delete this. Let me delete this. Hey, let me delete it. Let me delete it. Let me delete it. Yes, delete it, delete it. Mm -hmm. And let me go delete this one. Okay, let me share with you the screen right now. 
So my activity for you in this moment will be about this. So now let me ask you, what is the name of this kind of art? Uh -huh. What is painting. the name? Painting. painting. Yes, painting, 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 painting. Okay, number two, what is the name of the kind of art? Photography. Photography, Photography. that's correct. Photography. What about number three? What is the name of the kind of art? Jewelry. 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 Okay, number four, what is the name of the art? Pottery. Pottery. Just remember Harry Potter. Pottery. What about the next one? Number five? Sculpture. Sculpture. Culture. That's correct. Culture. Number six? Fashion. 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 That's correct. Fashion, fashion, fashion. And number seven? Drawing. Drawing. That's correct. Drawing, drawing, drawing. drawing. Uh, let's go with the last time, guys. Everybody repeat, please. Painting. Painting. Photography. Photography. Jewelry. Jewelry. Pottery. Culture. Culture. Fashion. Fashion. And drawing. Drawing. Now, over here, I will ask you. What is your favorite? Let me see. So I will ask you about some about drawing. So I will ask you what is your favorite color? Now that will be a question regarding to drawing. So in my personal case, I would say my favorite color is green. So I love using the color green. So that will be my example. Now everybody repeat please. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Now everybody repeat please. My favorite color is green. My, my favorite color is green. green. So I love using the color green. You got 30 seconds. Grab your sentence in your notebook and tell me what is your favorite color. Please, please. 30 seconds. Grab your sentence. Go. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite color. Grab your sentence in your notebook. Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite color. Please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite color. What is your favorite color. Please, please. What is, what is, what is your favorite color. Please, please. You got 15 seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite, 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 color, color, color. Five seconds, five seconds. Tell me, tell me, tell me what is your favorite color. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me check over here your answers. And let me start with Ruth Marielos. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. So Thank I you. love using the color black. Super cool. What about you, Marco Antonio? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is dark blue. Super cool. What about you, Carla Vigail? What is your favorite color? Uh, my favorite color is osher and black. I love the combination of those colors. Super nice. Thank you so much. What about you, Claudia Maria? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is white, so I love using the color white. Perfect. What about you, Raul Perez? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Samuel Alexander? What is your favorite color? Yes, my favorite color is black and purple, so I love using color black. And... and uh... <laughs> In the purple too. Cool. What about you, Jacqueline? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue, so I love using the color blue. Thank you. What about you, Juan Carlos? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is black. 
super cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Jennifer? What is your favorite color? Mm, my favorite color are yellow and black. Super cool. What about you, Isabel? What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink, aqua, and gold. Cool. Thank you so much. What about you, Fernando? What is your favorite color? Thank you. What about you, Lenestin? Juan Carlos, what is your favorite color? Juan Carlos, five, four, three. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry, you already participated. I'm so sorry. What about you, Esmeralda? Yes, yes. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. I love using that color. So pretty cool job. Now let's go with the next part of the activity, guys. Let me go with the next exercise. Let me open the new activity for you over here. Just give me one second. Second activity. Let me go with the second activity. One moment, one moment. Okay, let me go with this one. Let me go with this. Let me go with this. One second, one moment. No, with this. Okay, never mind. Let me go with this. I will share the screen over here. Yeah, let me go over here. So we have over here this information, guys. So we are going to complete the information. As for example, over here it says, can you believe it? The artist of these drawings has never had a brush in his can. He used pen and pencil to create these beautiful black and white pictures. So the word over here, guys, the key over here will be drawings. Now let's go with number one and it says, the exhibit, it's fascinating. How did people make clothing thousand years ago? What will people wear one, 100 and 200 years from now? These are some of the questions it answers. So what is the key word? Fashion. 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 Fashion, fashion, fashion. Number two, I never knew people wore things like that. On their fingers, necks, ears, arms, what an unusual. The sculpture. Uh -huh. Jewelry. Yes. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Exhibit. Uh, let's go with number three. These underwater pictures of fish are beautiful. I wonder what kind of camera he used to take them. This is a great. Exhibit. That's correct. John thought the exhibit was thought provoking, but I thought it was weird. The artist just put all those bumpers and hoods and other car parts together. Who wants to look at an art like that? That would be a sculpture. Now, number six, it is nice to see by a talented child, how did she learn to use a brush and color like that? Painting. Painting. That would be. So this is about the vocabulary. So we are going to start checking your pronunciation and help me to read number one, please, about fashion. Ruth Marielos, help me to read. Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Read, 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 read. Okay, the number one, the fashion exhibit is fascinating. Uh -huh, continue. Don't worry about the dogs, I have dogs too, continue. How okay. make clothing thousands of years ago? What, can, what will people wear uh, 100 and 200 years from now? These are some of the questions it's answered. Thank you so much. Jacqueline, tell me with number two. I never knew people wore things like that on their fingers, necks, ears, and arms. What an 
in usual. Uh, sorry. Jewelry uh, exhibit. Yes. Thank you so much. Number three, Marco. These underwater pictures of fish are beautiful. I wonder what kind of camera he used to take them. This is a great photography exhibit. Thank you. What about you, Raul? Number four. John thought the sculpture exhibit was tuning up cool wing. Good tunay is was where an artist puts a dog's bumper and holes and other parts together who wants to look and are being like. We need to read with more fluency, please. We are not in basic anymore. You are an intermediate. You need more fluency over there. Saul Alexander, help me with number five. Can you believe it? The artist of these drawings has never had a brush in his hand. He used pen and pencil to create these beautiful black and white pictures. Thank you. You need to speak a little bit louder, but it was cool. Carla Vigail, number six. It's nice to see paintings by a talent child. How did she oh, learn to use a brush and color like that? Thank you. Now, Jennifer Raquel, number one, the fashion. The fashion exhibit is, fa <clears throat> I'm sorry, the fashion exhibit is fascinating. How did people make these clothing thousands of years ago? What do people wear? Uh, 100 and 200 years from now? These are some of the questions it answered. Cool, thank you so much. What about you, Carl? No, sorry, Carla Vigay. No, Carla Vigail, number two, or you already participate? I don't remember, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, I never knew people wore things like that on their fingers, necks, ears, and arms. Mm -hmm. What an unusual jewelry exhibit. Thank you so much. What about you, Claudia Maria, number three? These underwater pictures of fish are beautiful. I wondered what kind of camera he used to take them. This a uh, great photography exhibit. Thank you. Help me with number four. Eh, let me see, Juan Carlos. Number four. Yes. John, John Todd, the sculpture activity was a Todd provoking, provoking, but I doubt it was where the artist just put um, this bumper and hope and other car parts to, together who was to loot and are like that. Cool, thank you so much. What about you, Fernando? Number five. Can you believe it? The artist of the drawing has never had a brush in his hand. He used pen and pencil to create these beautiful black and white pictures. Okay, thank you so much. Esmeralda is a welcome with number six. It's nice to see paintings by a talent child. Talented How did child. she learn to use a brush and color like that? Thank you so much, I appreciate a lot. Now we need to practice a little bit the pronunciation and fluency over there guys, so you can try to speak a little bit better. But thank you so much for your effort. Let me continue with the next part. And let me open the new activity over here. And let me go with this one. Just let me open this picture because we are going to need this picture. Uh -uh. Let me see what is it, what is it, what is it? Just one second, let me see. Uh -huh. 
One second, please. Let me open this one. No, this picture is not clear. Yes, this one is clear. So let me go with this. Okay, right now, guys, we are going to start working on this and we are going to start discussing about the active voice. That will be your first topic, active voice. Before we start working or before we start discussing about the passive voice, we are going to understand first, guys, what is an active voice. An active voice, guys, in other words, I will put it in simple words, is a normal sentence. A normal sentence. For example, a normal sentence in simple present over here. Remember that in simple present always we need a subject plus the verb or the action plus the complement. And over here we can say, for example, I do my homework, my homework. So this is active voice. I do my homework, that's a normal sentence. Another example, if I put simple past, I did my homework. And this is a normal sentence. I did my homework in simple past. Future, simple future, simple future. So the example over here, I will do my homework. So this is a normal sentence. This is active voice. So every time that you want to say a normal activity, a normal sentence, either in simple present, either in simple past or in simple future, you are going to use the active voice. That's the name active voice or normal sentences. Now, if we want to say this, for example, in, let me see, past progressive, past progressive, we use the same sentence, we use the same structure. For example, I was doing the homework and this is active voice. Why? Because we are doing the activity directly. In other words, I will say this in Spanish, está haciendo la actividad usted directamente. So that will be the, the active voice. When you do the activity directly. Another example in another tense, the present progressive. For example, over here, let me write it over here. Let me put it over here. Present progressive. Progressive. So the present progressive over here, guys. I am doing, doing doing my homework so and that would be the active voice in these let me see one two three four five tenses so in these five tenses this is active voice when you say the activity is normal 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 so let me share with you this in your group let me share with you this okay let me share with you the information over there and that would be about the active voice when you create activities directly so let me share with you this let me clean my screen and let me go with this and i will write it over here clearly So you understand this easily. So you cannot, under, you cannot say, I don't understand teacher. No, this is the, the explanation. So you can get an idea. When you get the activity directly done by you, that's called active voice. But you need to do the activity directly. So that will be the active voice. So right now, what are you going to do? Super easy. You are going to write one sentence using simple present. You are going to write one example using simple future. And you are going to give me also one example, future, using simple past. Right now we are going to work with these three tenses. So you are going to write one sentence in simple present, one sentence in simple future, and one sentence in simple past. I will give you one minute so you can write your sentence in your notebook. You can have one minute to write your examples in your notebook. One minute, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me your example, please, please. 
Want me not write a sentence in your notebook? Write your sentence in your notebook, please split. Tell me, tell me your examples using active voice. Remember, normal sentence. One sentence, one sentence, using, 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 simple present, simple future, and simple past. One example, one example, one sentence, one sentence, using simple future, simple future, simple present, and simple past. And let me share this picture because we will need this picture tomorrow. And let me go with this. You have 20 seconds. You write your examples in your notebook, please, please. Tell me, tell me, tell me your examples using active voice. Five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Let me start checking. Let me start checking your three examples, your three sentences. And let me start asking Marco Antonio, tell me yes. examples. Okay. I eat meat every week. Okay. That's probably, probably I will watch a movie this weekend. Mm -hmm. And I and I drank soda yesterday. I drank soda drank. yesterday. Thank you so much. What about you, Saul Alexander? Your examples. I am mm -hmm. taking class. Okay, I am taking class, but that is present progressive. It is not simple present. The simple present will be I take my English class. I take my English class. That's simple present. Uh huh. I will take my. My class of English tomorrow. Okay, uh huh. And then I I was doing uh, my homework. Mm, past progressive. But, Simple past will be I did my homework. I did my oh, sorry. That's yeah. correct. Practice over there the tenses. Jacqueline, tell me your examples. Jacqueline, oh, mute, oh, mute, oh, mute. Uh -huh. I cook the dinner for my family. I cook I the dinner. The dinner. Yes. Okay. I will cook the dinner for my family. Mm -hmm. I did cook the dinner for my family. No, in that case will be I cooked the dinner for my family. I cooked the, di I cooked the dinner. Tea. I cooked the yes. Dinner for my family. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Dinner. <laughs> Pronunciation. Thanks. Claudia, Maria, your example. I drink coffee every morning. Cool. I practice yoga to relieve stress. That's cool. Just that? Okay, cool. What about you, Isabel? Your examples? Um, in simple present, I do my dinner. In simple I past, it's better to I use make. make. I make okay. my dinner. I make my dinner. In simple past, I did my exercise. Cool. In simple future, I will do my homework tomorrow. Perfect. Thank you so much. Raul Perez, your examples. I made my dinner. I did my dinner. I will do my dinner. Ah, uh, one more time. When you don't use the verb did and do when you are preparing the, the food, you use the verb make. I make my dinner. I made my dinner in past and I will make my dinner. So change the verb, please. Carla Vigail, your examples. Um, I, I do my job. Mm -hmm. uh, I will do my homework and, 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 and <laughs> pass. We need to practice the pass, guys. You are an intermediate. You need to know the verse in pass. Fernando Linares. In person, I I am going to my house. A simple pass. I went to my house and. Uh, future, I will go to my house. Thank you so much. Ruth Marielos, your example. 
I prepare the breakfast. Yes. Uh, I drink water in the morning. Okay. Just that? Okay, cool. What about you, Juan Carlos? Your example? Yes. Juan Carlos, Juan Carlos. Okay, I understand. Connection. What about you, Jennifer Raquel? Your example? Mm, I eat I eat pizza. Cool. I watched a uh, TV. Nice. Uh, and I mm, ay, 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 ay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. No. Don't say I don't know, guys. Remove that word from your vocabulary. Ya están en intermedio. No pueden decir I don't know cada vez que no pueden algo. Invéntenselo. Tienen mente, tienen curiosidad, tienen imaginación. Invente. No es necesario que todo lo que diga es real. Tiene que saber inventar cosas y crear cosas si quiere hablar otro idioma. En español mienten un montón. Así que aprendan a mentir en inglés, que es lo mismo. So let's go with Esmeralda. Tell me your example. I worked yesterday. I ate cake. And I studied a lot. And I did my homework. That's cool. Thank you so much. Now, thank you for your examples. Thank you so much for your sentences. And thank you so much for your time. Now, let me take the attendance over here so we can continue with this. Just give me one second, let me take the attendance. And let me go with the group over here. Okay, let me go with the group, the group, the group, the group. <laughs> let me minimize this. Let me go with this. Okay, let's start. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto, Carlos Alberto, let me see if it is here because I don't know. Yes, Carlos Alberto is there. Okay, Carlos Alberto is in the class. What about Claudia Maria? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Present Claudia teacher. Maria? Yes. Mind teacher. the teacher. Thank you so much. What about Esmeralda Isabel? Present teacher. Thank you so much. What about Irma Jacqueline? Present teacher. Thank you. What about Isabel Elizabeth? Present teacher. Thank you. What about Jacqueline Elizabeth? Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara? No, over here. Okay. Jacqueline Rebecca? No, Jacqueline Rebecca. Jennifer Raquel? I'm here. Thank you. Juan Carlos Bonilla? Present teacher. Yes, it's here. No. Juan Carlos Maravilla? Present teacher, perdón. Thank you. Carla Abigail. Present teacher. Luis Fernando. Present teacher. Thank you. Marco Antonio. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio. Present teacher. René Giovanni. Not here. Ruth Marielos. Here, teacher. Thank you. Let me go with the last ones. And Saul Alexander. Present teacher. And Stephanie Jamilet. Not here? Okay, let me confirm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go with this. And let me go over here. So, thank you so much, guys, for connecting to the class. Thank you so much for being here. And now let me make a review over here real quick. Just give me open my whiteboard and let me go with this. Now let me practice over here with the simple past. Simple past. We're going to practice with the simple past. So my question for you will be this one. What did you do yesterday? Now everybody repeat please. What did you do yesterday? What, what did you do, do yesterday? For example, in my what personal did you case, do yesterday? yesterday I watched a movie. Now, everybody, repeat please. I watched a movie. I watched, I a, watched movie. a movie. Watched. Exactly. Watched. 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 
What? A movie. What? Now, what about you tell me? What did you do yesterday, please? You have 30 seconds. Grab your sentence in your notebook. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What did you do yesterday, please? please. 30 seconds, go. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday, please? please. Tell me, tell me, tell me. What did you do yesterday, yesterday, yesterday? What did you do? What did you do? What did you do? Yesterday, 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 please, please. What did you do yesterday, yesterday, yesterday? Five, four, three, two, one. Let me check your answers. Let me check your sentences. Jennifer, Raquel, tell me, what did you do yesterday? Jennifer Raquel Ayala, no there. Okay. I, oh yes. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watched um yes. my favorite uh, series. Thank you. What about you, Jacqueline? What did you do yesterday? I visit. I visited. My family. Visited my family. That's correct. Marco Antonio, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday I prepared. I prepared. And... I prepared. Prepared. Do, do, do. Prepared. Prepared. Mm -hmm. I prepared everything to this new semester in college. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Maria, what did you do yesterday? I working in San Jose. Uh, uh, I worked. I worked. King. Worked. Worked. I working. No, don't say no, working. I worked. Worked. I worked. <laughs> Saul I Alexander, worked. what did you do yesterday? Saul Alexander, you are on mute. Hello, hello, teacher. Uh -huh. The words have to be past. Yes, it has to simple. be past. Simple past. I cooked yesterday. Thank you. What about you, Ruth Marielos? What did you do yesterday? I went to a watch Japan with my family. Thank you, Isabel. What did you do yesterday? I played basketball. Uh -uh, I played basketball. I played basketball. Perfect. Raul, what did you do yesterday? I shopping with my mom. Uh -uh, shopping is not a verb. I went shopping. I went shopping. Thank you. Carla Abigail, your example. What did you do yesterday? I visited my great grandmothers. Thank you. Juan Carlos, what did you do yesterday? I went to play soccer. Thank you. Oh. Fernando, what did you do yesterday? I did... Uh... The cleaning house. Okay, I did the house chores. Okay, I did the house chores. Thank you. What about you, Esmeralda? What did you do yesterday? And in my case, yesterday I went to my father to my favorite restaurant. Okay. And I did my homework and just thank you so much. Appreciate now, guys. Thank you so much for connecting. This is all for today's class. And I will say, I mean, I will say this in Spanish. Practiquen los verbos en pasado. Mañana les voy a enseñar cómo se pronuncian los verbos en pasado para que no estén cometiendo el error. Pero please, necesito que se los aprenda y que practique, porque si no se los sabes, también va a ser difícil. So please, aprendaselos. Thank you so much for connecting. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Have a wonderful night. Bye bye. Thank you. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.